Hi everyone. So in the last video we saw how to install, download and install the Pentaho data integration server uh, and start Spoon. So now in this video I'll be covering up uh, how do you connect Pentaho to MySQL. Now this is fairly simple. Uh, once you have your Spoon started, uh, just double click on transformations. Now again uh, you'll notice that it, it went directly to design tab just just click the view tab again and here you can see that there are database connections so you'll already have agile bi um, uh, set up when you double click like that but all you have to do is just right click new okay so these are all the list of database connections that you make and that you can make. Um, for me, I'm going to do it with MySQL. Uh, click on native JDBC. Uh, so you can give your connection name. So I'll give it MySQL and the script test. Give the host name, whatever you have. Uh, now, now you should know what database you want to connect. So uh, I have a database that is already created so for one of my classes I'll, I'll use that uh, you need to have the username now now once you do this uh, just click test so now you can see here that it's showing me some sort of error now this error is exception while loading class um, so um, this essentially means that Penta is not able to um, talk to your MySQL server. Uh, so now there's a way to make this work. Uh, and, um, as you know, this is Penta 4.4.0. So just quit Penta for now. Uh, go to MySQL connector jar search for this then go then just download the uh, platform independent jar so you just download this uh, either a zip or a tar archive now I've already downloaded this uh, file and once you extract this you're gonna be getting uh, all these files all you need is the jar the jar file uh, from this download just copy this go to your place where you have downloaded the uh, Pentaho data integration server and that you can find a folder called lib just go and paste the MySQL connector jar that we have just downloaded now again restart uh, your Pentaho data integration server now Windows user can just click on spoon.bat but uh, uh, Mac users will have to go through this extra step of launching it via the shell script that is uh, given to us so just waiting mm -hmm. okay so now just click cancel now you're in again just double click here just follow the same steps that we did uh, you can see here you will have the agile bi just click on new um, select mysql give it a name sql test local host Please. A username, your password. Now again, click test. Okay, so now you can see that my connection to database was okay because I now have the MySQL connector jar that helps Pentaho uh, to uh, talk to my MySQL database. Now, one more thing to note here is you will need to have your exam. Um, uh, run MySQL database you can have certain other settings as well but you basically need to have your MySQL server uh, running for this to be able to uh, work if I stop this server and I try to make 
Um, stopping. Okay, now that it's stopped, uh, so if I try to make the test again, see it's again fail. It just means that the the driver has not received any packets from the server. So this essentially means that your server is just down. So you just sorry about that. Uh, you just start your server again. And just takes a couple of seconds. Okay, so now if you test it again, there you go. You have your uh, database connection uh, made from Pentaho. Uh, now, this extra step of uh, having the MySQL uh, lib, um, you need to have this for all those who have downloaded uh, Pentaho 4.4.0 zero stable version and below that I guess uh, but 5.0.1 they have this uh, jar as a part of their uh, the their application so you don't need to do this um, it's already there with 5.0.1 uh, I hope that it this this makes you understand how to uh, connect to uh, MySQL from Pentaho and the next video uh, which will be coming soon. I'll be showing you how to uh, make a simple transformation uh, that is uh, get uh, data from an Excel and insert it into a MySQL database.